But anyway, um, let's uh, let's get something uh, let's get something happening here. Uh, let's see. So this is uh, this is this tree over here. I want to keep it in the frame, so. But I need it to go at least to the top here, so it's got these kind of which is over here, and this one comes in a little. All right, that's the main that's the main character. So, I'll just get him established, and then and then this uh, this dirt over here is kind of coming down the hill. Kind of cuts through about here over here. It's kind of coming down the hill behind this. Then this little tree, once we get down here in, into the bottom here, which actually sits, still sits above here, it's down here. This tree moves back up, just off center here. Center's about there. I'm just using my brush to just kind of like see some of these relate size relationships top of that brush the bush kind of cuts through right about there so so this is kind of uh, it's got this nice kind of round shape to it um, lots of shadow down in here so as you would expect <laughs> in the Joshua trees shadow is coming off of here as well. Um, we can kind of see it on the ground here. This one kind of comes out this way a little bit. Got to get this in now because the sun's going to move uh, across here. I won't be able to uh, follow that, so let's get that in there. And then the second bush is actually down here. It's sitting this area, and I wanted just a touch of separation here, so it comes up just above that one. It's much, much rounder on the bottom, so. Let me 
got some warm ones that are kind of in the front here. They're going to come across. Uh, let's get something going here. So we're going to take a I'm gonna mix some blue with it. All right, so I got a good start here. Um, it looks pretty, there are a couple things that uh, that I have to make some adjustments on um, going into here. I'm really happy with what I got going on here, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Um, but I do need to make sure that this is actually falling. This needs to come down, and then this needs to fall off down in this way, so I've got this kind of sloping action um, going down behind there so and that'll just happen with some uh, some contrast in the foreground I'll get to the foreground I want to get kind of this middle ground established so that I can uh, get this main uh, Joshua tree here taken care of so yeah so let's uh, let's keep uh, let's keep rocking this all right look at how beautiful that is so I got the basics down um, and it's uh, 
it's about uh, maybe maybe 95 degrees right now so I'm getting really close to where I've got to pack up and uh, pack up and head out so it's gonna get really hot really soon so um, but I wanted to show you where I'm at currently uh, I'm just stepping in now and I'm going to just kind of get some of these Joshua's that are just kind of receding uh, they're going off into the distance here um, and then I'll just add a little bit of definition to these trees and then like I said before I'll just kind of uh, get my way out of the painting <clears throat> and that'll be enough uh, that'll be enough for now I will have captured um, enough of the scene where I can just make a couple of little tweaks later at home and uh, wrap it up so yeah let me uh, just get a few finishing touches here and uh, and then I will check back with you all right Okay, so that's how we've uh, finished up for now. And uh, it's time for me to go. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, you know I do, uh, I do appreciate it. It's great to uh, be out painting and to share again on the channel. So uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well and everybody's healthy. And uh, hey, I will catch you later. Yeah, yeah.